Hey, welcome to 49cc Scoop. My name's Brent. I tried the Stage 6 RT FL100 exhaust on my 94cc RC1 a few months ago, hoping to improve acceleration times, but it didn't work. Some thought it may have been due to a mismatch exhaust port and flange, so today we're going to find out if that's true. The Melosi MHR cylinder has an oval exhaust port exit and uses a flange that matches up to that and then transitions to match the round exhaust header. The flange for the Stage 6 pipe is a simple round design intended for use with their RT FL100 cylinder kit with a round exhaust port. Pairing the Stage 6 flange with the Melosi cylinder left me with a mismatch which could potentially interfere with velocity, flow, and wave tuning. Here are the results from testing the Stage 6 pipe with its mismatched flange compared to the Melosi MHR exhaust and its well-matched flange. The Stage 6 exhaust was a couple of tenths slower in the 8th mile and seemed to do best at a little bit higher RPM than the Melosi pipe did. So, was the worst performance because of the mismatched flange or just because the Melosi exhaust works better with the cylinder since it was designed for it? In order to find out, I made my own flange that matches the MHR exhaust port and the dimensions of the Stage 6 header. Now the easiest way to test this would have probably been to weld a new end piece onto the Stage 6 exhaust that would allow the Melosi flange to fit. But I thought it was an interesting and challenging project, and if you want to check that out, I've got a video showing the fabrication process. I bolted everything together with the new match setup, and installed 4.5 gram sliders for a starting point since they gave me the best results in the previous tests. It felt a little slower to me, and the draggy data confirmed it, showing an average of 10.43 at 62.2 miles per hour in the 8th month. That sounds way off, especially compared to the 986 average of the MHR exhaust in earlier tests, but it's actually a little bit closer than it seems, because I did some tuning checks with the MHR exhaust immediately before installing this one, and it was a little bit slower than it was during my first exhaust comparison. At 10.03 in the 8th, it was nearly two tenths of a second slower than the previous average, and that was done with 5 and an eighth gram weights versus 5 and a quarter gram weights before, so something else has changed. I did just put a new piston in to get tighter clearances back, so I'm wondering if it could have been a little quicker with the worn in piston and freer fit, but I've also noticed that it slips enough on launch now that I can roll in quickly and not worry about wheelies like I used to, so it could be something clutch or maybe CVT related. Whatever the case may be, the scooter was 4 tenths and 3 miles per hour slower with a stage 6 pipe so far. I started swapping weights around and doing test runs, and what I thought would be a very quick process wound up taking quite a chunk of time. I expected to see times quickly improve and then drop off as I changed weights, but performance stayed pretty close over a wide range of RPM. My best results were 1027 and 1028 averages, and it was within roughly a tenth of a second of those times, from 4.75 gram all the way up to 6.5 gram sliders. It seemed to pull well anywhere from a little under 12,500 up to 14,000 RPM, so it does work near its best across a wider range than the Melosi exhaust does. The problem is, it's just not able to keep up with the times from the MHR exhaust, even with the matched flange. The best average times for the FL100 exhaust are a little over two tenths slower than the MHR pipe, which is pretty much how it went the first time around without the custom flange, so it doesn't look like port matching was the problem. I still think that we need to remember that the Stage 6 exhaust is not designed for the Melosi cylinder like the Melosi pipe is. That's not to say that there is nothing better out there for this cylinder, but the Stage 6 pipe just doesn't appear to be it. I don't really care much about top speed, and with high speeds like this thing is capable of, I find it pretty difficult to do accurate testing of max speed. But I do think that this pipe may have some potential if that's what you're into, because it may let you push the revs a little bit higher. Still, if I were looking at just the MHR and the FL100 exhaust for a mostly out-of-the-box RC1, 
I would choose the MHR. It kind of looks like the custom flange was all for nothing. But again, it's always a learning experience building that sort of thing, and it has surprised me that I didn't see any improvement with a matched flange. Some people look at port matching as absolutely essential for every build, and some people say it's not that important. Just from this test alone, it looks like it's really not as important as I would have thought it would be. However, if I'm building one of these things, I'm still gonna try to port match. We clearly didn't lose anything by port matching, but you've seen the results, so I'll leave it up to you. That's it for this episode. If you aren't already subscribed, do that now and click the bell to receive notifications so you won't miss any future tests. If you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and thank you for watching.